Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. So, this is it, the B29 Super Fortress. If you uh, didn't see it, we did a box break on this two weeks ago. So go back and watch that box break and you'll see what's inside of this. This is the time where I like to wash my parts. So I got my sink behind me, we're gonna fill it up. I already heated the water up just a little bit. So it's boiling hot already. We're just gonna cool it down a little bit. Remember, you don't wanna use hot water. You just want lukewarm water for this thing. So got our little plunger, I'm gonna stick it in. Get some of our little liquid soap. Pour some of that in there. This is a fairly big model, so it's going to take up a lot of space. So we're going to see how this all works out. Got our box right over here. We're going to have to open this sucker up, get the lid off of it. So we got our first parts right here. They're still in the plastic, of course. So we're going to have to cut these out. I got one right here. Got the plastic parts, throw those in. So you know what we could do sometimes? Turn parts to the side. This one looks like it's already been opened. Not a big deal. We'll put this in the opposite way. Got two sprues in here. I don't know why we have two sets of props, but there you go. Some tail fins right here, more bombs, cowlings. See how these fit. Now these ones, as you can see, they go in fairly easily right here. I could probably lay these in first. See, they would actually fit all the way. So we'll do that. We'll pull these out right here. Just get these all the way down at the bottom in there. We're gonna see how to get this sucker in there, because look at this won't work we could always cut some stuff off with the sprues and we might have to do that just to make this work so we'll go get some cutters we'll put these in there that way it all fits we've got our snips here we're just going to slowly cut this off right here I'll fit nicely in there watch out for some of these pieces We'll do the same with this. Notice I'm not cutting all the way on the edge. That's because of the way these are on there. It requires a better knife to do. So there, we got that. Don't need that. Let's see here, some of this stuff. We can cut this off right here, here, and here. We got all of our parts fitting in here. And they're getting washed. Hopefully they stay that way and it looks good when we're done. Hey, right, so the parts have been washed. We're just going to rinse them off and put them in our box over here. We're going to get them outside. That way they can air dry for a little bit, you know, until they're dry. So let's go. All right, so now that we've got our parts washed, we are going to start painting the inside of this model. So it's time for some model making madness. Well, that's right, model making madness. What we're gonna do, I looked at the instructions of these thoroughly. So everything in the interior of this plane goes a flat dark green. So logically that's the first place we're gonna start. So let's get to it. So we all know that it's go time. That means we've got to paint some chromate green on this model. So we are going to do that right now. There's a lot of it. So make sure you got a full bottle because you're definitely going to need it when it comes to making this model. So as you can see, I'm painting the chromate green, I had a little thing fly away there. These are the landing gear for the, the wheel wells for the inside. What this is, this goes across the whole entire model. That's for the wings. It's some support for the inside. So there's two of those. 
a lot of this model has two of everything, so you just gotta pay attention and make sure you do it right and yeah, make it look pretty. You know, we always gotta get that in there, of course. So this is basically what's going on. We're painting all these detailed parts. You've got wheel well gear stuff and all that stuff for hydraulics. This is the other support that only goes green in the middle right there. You know, you just have to study your drawings and make sure you're painting it accurately and as easy as possible. It may have been easier to put together like a uh, flight deck first and then paint all the detail parts, but I chose to do it this way. Remember, it's your model, do it however you see fit. Make it look pretty for the second time. So go over everything. Just check your directions. What I tended to do is put a little dot of green paint on any number that actually needed green paint. That way I would know that I needed to paint that. So when you get that out of the way, you can start painting everything green and then go back and double check everything twice and make sure you still have the right color going onto the right part. I did do some things the wrong color, but we go back and touch that up and others I didn't put paint on that I went back and had to do later. So, you know, just one of those things that you just have to pay attention to it while you're doing it. So we got another couple minutes left to paint the rest of these things green while I babble blabble and talk to you about it so you know you got beds in this thing you've got uh i want to say chairs and more chairs instrument panels displays gun sights all these things that go on the inside you got this little tube here that they crawled in that they went from front to the back of the plane so a lot of interesting things We'll just finish that up here. A couple more parts to go. There's some propellers. A lot of propellers. There was like eight total in this plane. Why? Because they made this model originally as the uh, Enola Gay, I believe. And this is just basically, they re-kitted it, whatever you want to call it, reused it. So you have a lot of extra parts with directions for two different models that are not the Enola Gay. So hey, that's what it is. Uh, more chairs and more things that go in the flight deck you see this here they got the beds that i'm painting and uh, the uh bulkheads that we had that go in between the plane that little hole there is where everybody would climb through to get to their respective parts in the plane you know hey it is what it is this like i said really neat model to do taught me a little bit about this plane because you know i've never really seen the inside of one and probably many of you have never seen the inside of one and if you have congratulations uh you can see there are some wheel wells right there those are for the uh rear wheels of course and a little bit more paint and of course there we go another tube got to paint this tube because like i said remember there is two of everything so some things even have four stuff uh like even those right there those are for the uh missile the gun not missiles bleh. they were for the gun turrets so you know you got to do those i painted the tops of those actually green but they do not go green they go a lovely silver color, so make sure you do that. Uh, this is where the bombs go. This plane had a bunch of bombs that you can build. Uh, I believe there's like 16 or so of them, maybe a little more. I don't remember, but you got to do a lot of missiles, or not a lot of bombs. You got to do a lot of bombs because it's got a lot of bombs. So get those out of the way. You know, I don't think you have to paint everything because a lot of this, it gets covered in the back and you can't see them. I did it just in case because you never know what might show through and what won't but hey like i said do it your way and here we go painting the inside of the cockpit and anywhere a human will possibly be seen crawling those all go chromate green everything in between goes a lovely silver color so quite interesting they get painted aluminum not here though but now we get to do some building it's about time huh so that's the reverse side of the front landing gear on the other side will be the cockpit i didn't paint that green even though it needs to go green because there was some parts that i wanted to glue down first and then get it all in one shot to make it easier to put all the rest of this gear down i felt that was the best way to do it so you see me doing a little bit of sanding there that way i get the parts all nice and clean make sure you do that with this model do your sanding work get it good that way you can glue these parts and they can look good so i'm going to glue a little piece here i don't know what it was but it just goes there and that's for the front landing gear of course so put that down there and here we go this little piece here goes into place it's supposed to move so make sure you don't glue that down that'd be bad some model making madness 
at its finest. Here we go, putting some more glue right here on the wheel well. We're gonna turn those upside down and just put those in place. Like I said, make sure that middle piece can move there. We're going to secure the back of that. I put some glue right there on the sides, actually on the bottom, and then you know I just glued the sides. And I made it look pretty, because don't I always make it look pretty? Just kidding. So, what I'm doing here, I'm just freeing all the uh, mold things here. I'm gonna clean those up, because you do wanna test fit parts before you glue them. And of course is the fun part, which is cutting out more parts and doing some actual painting. So that's what we are doing here, cutting out a lot of our chairs and all of our parts that are going to go into the actual cockpit of this model. So that's the fun stuff. So here I am painting this actual cockpit, or I'm sorry, the chair, it goes tan, you paint the seats tan, and the belt, I'm sorry, you paint the belts tan and the buckles silver, as they always go. There's a couple of these that you have to do, I think two in the front, one down below, and a couple that are in the back. Just pay attention, here's the front seat that goes right there for the gunner. Here's another seat that you see. I painted all the tan first, then I went back afterwards and I painted the buckles silver. Made them look pretty. That's three times, how about that? So here you go, another buckle, another belt, strap, whatever you want to call them, they're there. You got to paint them. So get those done. I didn't make them look too decent because I wasn't concerned about because I really am not going to sit there and stare inside of the cockpit of this model. Maybe you might and want to nitpick stuff, which reminds me when you do some sanding, make sure nothing falls inside like anything that could stick to the uh, plastic because it might not come back out and it's darn sure hard to get it out because I had that problem. So here we go, we're cutting out some tables and some other things, instrument panels. Paint your control sticks black, as you can see I'm doing right here. That's important to make sure you get those. A couple of those you have to do, two on one on each side. You have your gun sight right here that goes on the front. Make sure you paint that black, make that look good. Here's these other things. I don't know what these are, but all these boxes, they go black. They have like tables, beds, Lord knows what in this aircraft. It's a lot of stuff because you know they had long flights, so the guys could at least rest and do whatever they needed to do. Paint those. Once I said, once you get all those boxes black, we can start gluing some parts down, which is, hey, it's a plus. We like gluing things because that means we're making progress, doesn't it? Here we go. Paint the little control knobs black. Awesome. We're starting to come to the end of this, which is a plus. This here, this goes on the seat, and it's going to be mounted basically to the back of the chair, and it's basically like, you know, armrests essentially, so once you put those onto the chair, they go into the back, and we'll show that. Here's the other control stick right here, whatever you want to call that. I don't even know if that's a control stick, but it's there. So we'll cut that out. We'll start gluing things together, which is a plus. Uh, just scrape away whatever paint that you have that you need to get off of there. Like you see, I've already done. Put some glue on. We're going to put a chair right here that goes right up front. You see those little knobs or lifts that it has. That's where it goes on. I just put on the two little control sticks there that you see. And here is the gun sight going right on the tip of the plane. Our actual control levers for the entire steerings, whatever you want to call them, of course. I don't know what anything is called in this plane. Those are going on. We're putting on the two cockpit chairs right here, the little armrests. Those go in the back. We'll paint those later because those also went a certain color. I wanted to make sure that you know everything just went on there first before we went around because I didn't have to paint everything. And these are where you have some more... I guess tables or whatnot, they go on top here. So that's where that table goes right there. After we put that on, we're going to put on a bulkhead. Boom, there it is. Just like I promised, right? Putting in our two chairs. Pay attention to how these go in. They basically fit right there in the back. I had trouble figuring that out. Had to look at a bunch of pictures and study them. As you can see, I wound up painting those green already. You see the armrests, got those painted green, stuck them in there. And we are coming to the end of this video. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part. I know you're going to love it where we do more of the cockpit and all that stuff. Subscribe, comment, and like. Until next time, see ya.